<laughs> hey, hey, guess what? We wanted to share with you our um, uh, testing, mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. of ways to document our running. We tried a lot of techniques. Yeah, we really did. A lot of equipment. Yeah, we did. We started with our uh, phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Millie. Millie. We started with our phone, mm -hmm. but the footage was way too shaky. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it worked, but yeah, it but was pretty jumpy. It was really shaky. Yeah. And then we realized, you know what we need to do is we need to use Stabilize a gimbal. Stabilize it. Yeah. So here's a gimbal. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's this mm -hmm. mechanical way of stabilizing your footage. But look at this thing. It's a monster. It, it is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it is. It's a monster. It weighs forever. And knowing that we're going to run a half marathon, a full marathon, there's no yeah. way I'm carrying this thing. It's as big as my torso. <laughs> so we needed to go smaller. So we went with this one. Smaller one. Much smaller. Look at the difference. Big difference, right? It's a lot lighter. Yeah. We thought it would fit in a big fanny pack, but it did not. It did not. It did not. I mean, it works really well. Yeah, it was great. But it was great. It's still too big. Yeah, still too big. So then we thought, you know what? We need to go small. So why not just hold a camera that's small? This one's awesome. Still kind of shaky. Yeah, right. it's supposed to have some like built-in stabilization, yeah. but it... it's software stabilization. So mm -hmm. not as good as mechanical stabilization. Right. Oh, what to do? What to do? Here's what we settled on, and it is fantastic. We love it. It's the DJI Osmo Pocket. It is mm -hmm. so great. Look at how small it is. This is a little lens here, yeah. this camera, and all in one. gimbal, and the footage is, it's been wonderful. It's so been fun. terrific. And here's the deal. We carried it for six plus hours mm -hmm. on our 26.2 mile marathon. It was fantastic. It has worked out really yeah. well. So if you stick around, we're going to have an unboxing. We're going to share the optimal settings we have found mm -hmm. for running, and we just bought a new accessory Thanks for joining us. Our primary use of our Osmo Pocket is for running. If you follow our blogs, you'll know why. So we have found out that the best settings for running are here when you go into settings. So on the Osmo Pocket for settings, if you swipe up on the screen, you get this quick access. The two very important settings for us in terms of making sure that our running videos are smooth the lighting is correct and uh, just work really, really well. One is, you'll see this guy, it looks like he's walking. It's not fast follow. Now you would think for running, you want fast follow, but actually for running, we have selected slow follow. Slow follow works really, really well when we're running. Now the second feature for really, really good running footage is if you swipe down on the screen, you can get into the settings mode. And for us, we have our tilt control as on. For running, that's really important. Uh, there are other uh, ways to adjust tilt control. You can turn it off and that way, wherever you point, whether it's up, down, uh, you know, around you, the tilt control is off, so it'll follow. But when you're running, you really don't want that to happen. So we turn tilt control on for running.
So here's our new wide angle lens. It's really nice. It's magnetic and it fits perfectly on our new DJI Osmo Pocket. Now with the recent firmware update, you can power on your DJI Osmo Pocket while the wide angle lens is in place. There you go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what happens when we do selfie mode. Now with the DJI Osmo Pocket, if you triple click the power button, it goes into selfie mode, but the key here is that when it goes into selfie mode, it face tracks. So with the wide angle lens, here is selfie mode. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and you can see that it takes, it, it gets both of us, which is a big improvement without the wide angle lens. And I'm gonna show you. Seriously? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna show you what that means. This is a uh, selfie mode with the wide angle lens. Both easily in the frame. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And now I'm gonna remove the lens, see what selfie mode looks like without the wide angle lens. Yeah. We're still here. Yep. But when we're running, mm -hmm. Makes it a lot yeah. harder to get us both on there. I'm yeah. going to put the uh, wide angle lens back on. And you can tell not only are we in the frame, but there's a lot more yeah. on either side of us. So we're stationary here, right? But when we're running, you yeah. know, I'm behind, yeah. I'm ahead, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. It's a it big makes difference. It a lot easier to get everybody in the frame. As a matter of fact, uh, we have footage of uh, our, our marathon. Our struggles before yeah. getting the wide angle lens. So take a look at uh, selfie mode without the wide angle lens. And then our struggles with the wide angle lens, where we learned that you really shouldn't touch, unless you want a soft filter effect, don't touch the lens. So that's what's going on with that footage. But otherwise, uh, it looks great. And then a 5K that we ran mm -hmm. without a smudged lens. Uh, but uh, here's footage with uh, the wide angle lens on uh, our uh, last run. So, so far, uh, this is a really worthwhile accessory. Uh, we'll put a link <clears throat> in the description. Uh, they're really, this wide angle lens is really, really hard to come by. They seem to run out of stock uh, quickly. Uh, but we highly recommend, if you're going to do any kind of footage with your Osmo Pocket, uh, this wide-angle lens is the way to go. Mm -hmm.